Hello, and thank you for stopping by the 741 channel. Today we're going to take a look at upgrading the memory in my old HP DC5850 desktop computer. So as you can see, I've got the computer on the bottom of my radio bench over there underneath uh, my radios. So I'm going to power it down and go behind there, disconnect it, and uh, we'll put it up here on the bench. I've got the computer over here on the bench now, and I'm getting ready to pull the cover off and put the memory modules in. These are the modules that I got. I got these on Amazon. We'll take a closer look at these in a minute. But first, let's get the case off of this. So taking the case off of this computer is pretty easy. There's just one thumb screw on the back here that we unscrew. And then we just pull this case straight out. It's, it kind of pops out. And then uh, it should just kind of slide off. And there we go. We've got access. Here's a closer look at the memory modules that I purchased from Amazon. If you're interested in checking out the details, I'll leave a link in the description below that will take you to the Amazon product page for these. Anyhow, you can see that they are uh, DDR2, PC2, 6400, non-ECC, 800 megahertz, and they are supposed to be uh, CL6 rated as well. So here's a look at the new memory module here the smaller one and the old one which is the bigger one. Aside from the physical size I think they're pretty similar in nature. The chips are different but kind of configured the same. We'll flip it over and you can see that the new module is an ATEC and it's got the part number and some ratings and stuff there and the old one is probably genuine HP original to this computer when it was new but made by Micron. I think that's their Anyway, logo. let's put the old one back in where it was and we'll put this one and its brother in the open slots. Okay, that should do it. We've got the memory installed. So let's put the cover back on and uh, put the computer back in its home and see how things work. As you can see, we've come to one of the BIOS screens here, and it's recognized that we've made a memory change, and it is reporting now that we have 8 gig, which is what we want. So, what I'm going to do is push F1 to acknowledge that that has changed, and save it, and we'll go right into uh, booting, presumably. So as you can see, we're booting into Windows here. We're almost up. As you can see, the computer is all fully booted up now and ready to go. Let's just go in and verify that Windows is reporting that we have the 8 gig of memory now. I'm going to go under the Start menu. I'm going to go to Settings. I'm going to go to System. And then go to the About page. And so as you can see here, Windows is indeed reporting that we have 8 gig of RAM installed. Hopefully this is going to help with some of my video editing chores. Now I know a newer computer with more horsepower would be the ideal thing to do here, but uh, I've been getting by with this computer just fine for the last few years with not really too many issues, so hopefully this uh, extra memory will just help smooth out some of the bumps and uh, things will be good for a little while longer and I can save a little money on computer upgrades here. Well that's pretty much going to wrap up upgrading the memory on my old HP desktop computer. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. Thanks for watching.